rain beds. Okay. So of course, relative humidity in the environment, moisture condition is important for the uh, formation of active uh, spy rain bands. The second is the size of the initial proper uh, cyclone disturbance, because the initial the size or wind distribution determines the surface flux of the, uh, and also the uh, the, uh, velocity, the velocity distribution, radar distribution of the velocity. The third one is the environmental forcing, of course. To consider the better effect, the larger scale water shear, uh, these factors can trigger uh, spiral and bands as well. So I'll show you just to highlight some results. The first, the relative humidity. So what you can see, uh, what I've shown here is the three uh, experiments. One is the control simulation. We use the relative humidity is about uh, uh, in the mean is about 80%. Uh, percent. For the another moist environment, so this is quite a way. So the relative humidity is constant throughout the column of the uh, atmosphere. So it's about 90 percent. And then the other one is the dry, quite a dry environment is 30 percent. So what you can see the the size how different in different uh, experiments. So the dry uh, environment, they mainly favors the smaller storm, and the wet environment favors the uh, larger storm. So that means in larger storm, they have, that's because in the control simulation, it's just in the medium, in the between of the end. So you can see the uh, active spy rain bands in control simulation and uh, the, the wet environment cases. But in the dry cases, there are no uh, strong uh, or active uh, outer spy rain band. So that's the storm maintained, the smaller size. So we can see the, uh, the why the uh, storm in the wet experiment is too, so large. So that's mainly caused of, related to the development of the concentric world. And so you can see the, uh, the active spy rain bed the all the time. And then develop the uh, strong outer spy rain, outer core, outer eye wall. And then the inner eye wall disappeared and then remained left of the uh, outer eye wall. It's the uh, much larger uh, red, uh, reddish maximum wind uh, compared with the original uh, primary eye wall. So we, did, we try to let, next day to show you this, how the initial uh, vertex size affected the, uh, store, the evolution of the storm size. So this shows you the, uh, the same profiles of the wind. That's the radius, that's the wind, the initial uh, cyclone. So what is uh, shown here is the one year the, with the reddish maximum wind at 80 kilometers in control, that's the black. And in a smaller storm, it's a 60 uh, kilometers radius. In the uh, reddish maximum wind is 60 kilometers. And uh, for a larger storm, it's 100 kilometers. That's the initial, just the initial versus. What time I have? So the, uh, that's the, uh, you can see the different uh, size of the uh, radius maximum wind give, produce the, uh, gives the uh, different, uh, radio, different uh, distribution of the relative uh, humidity. So absolute velocity for the large storm, there are large uh, velocity curve, curve, the large velocity curve. This favors the growth of the storm size based on the uh, angular momentum budget. So this is the results I've shown you, the uh, comparison of surface rain, rainfall. So this is about 120 uh, hours simulation, this is about 10 days. So what you see is the control simulation and a small initial vortices, large initial vortices. So the storm is, at the initial time is small, then maintains more, keeps more. But the small, the, the large storm increases with time, uh, continuously. That's, the, uh, that's showing you the, the radius of the uh, damaging wind change with time, this is time. So you can see the small storm grows very slowly, but the uh, larger storm grows much faster. So we also look at the, uh, the, the effect of the outer wind fields. So this is the outer wind fields. So the three cases are showing you how they change the storm on the side. So they for the, for the three storm, 90 hours and about 10 days. So this is the storm. The, the three storms have the same radius maximum wind at the initial time, but one year with the uh, the wind decreases slowly with uh, with radius. Okay. One minute. Okay. So then uh, you can see the storm size change is quite different differently. So this is the uh, radius of uh, damaging wind as well. So the increase with time and remains more. So what so. Uh, uh, we found the positive feedback. If the initial size of the vortex is large, and then they produce the larger wind outside of the eye wall, and then produce large surface velocities and the cake, 
outside of the eye wall, favor the uh, formation of strong spiral bands. So these spiral bands create drive the uh, inner one layer inflow, and then throw the uh, ang brings the uh, more angular momentum inward. So that's the cause the ex outer expansion of the Chinese wing and also the increase of the storm size. So for the smallest uh, initial vertices, that normally just uh, there are no outspiring bands, and then the storm maintains more. Okay, I just uh, stop here, and that's just the mechanism I just uh, highlight here. Thank you for your attention. discussing a lot of dynamics here in the outer core regions along the periphery of the storm. Um, to what extent is the what you're calling the growth in the size of the storm driven by these outer core dynamics, and how much of it is simply driven by the fact that the storm is intensifying in the inner core? Yeah. Uh, this is the quite different. The inner core intense, uh, inten the, inner, the intensity of the storm is mainly uh, caused, uh, controlled by the eye war heating. But the heating outside of the eye war is critical to the uh, size increase of the storm. So you've actually, you're taking care to, to separate those two processes, I guess, in, in, in your analysis? Right, right. Okay. So because I use the soil relaxing equation, I can partition the, uh, the response of radio wind from the uh, heating in different regions of the storm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, for the, uh, for the wind, uh, wind budget equation, uh, does it uh, can be applied for a uh, uh, moving stone. Now, I mean the, the stone is moving, so the equation is also can be applied. Oh yes, you can subtract the uh, mean wind, yes, if the wind is uniform. The motion, you can remove the, uh, you can, uh, remove the motion component of the, yeah, the budget equation, yes. Yeah, but for real test, the, the stone is always moving. Yeah, so uh, the equation, uh, uh, did you consider that the uh, moving speed? Uh, in my simulation, the storm moves very not large. Uh, the movement is very slow and, uh, because it's on the airplane. Huh? So if you just change a little bit of the equation, so you can get the uh, similar results, I believe. Okay, I think we need to. Uh, okay, probably the rest we can we can discuss later. Yeah, I think we're a few minutes behind. Uh, that's